Aston Villa fans, today is a brand new day and I'm going to be bringing you a predicted lineup of the Aston Villa versus Brentford game on Saturday the 28th of August. So it's just a few days away now. I've got a prediction for the lineup. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to set a like target of 100 likes. Now, if we can hit 100 likes on this video, it's a big ask but it will be much, much appreciated. And I really do appreciate all of your support that you're showing on the videos, the comments, the likes, absolutely everything. Let's just get straight into today's video. Starting off with that goalkeeper position, we've got none other than the Argentine shot stopper, Martinez. In that right back position, obviously with Al Mohamedi no longer at the club, Matty Cash's rankings have just gone through the roof and Matty Cash will be in that right back position. Centre back partnership in the heart of that defence, We've got Conce and Tyrone Mings. In the left-back position, I was going to go Matty Target, but do you know what? I think against Brentford, we need attacking prowess down uh, the wings and somebody that can get forward, Ashley Young. Ashley Young is the man that's going to be in that left-back position. In terms of midfield, the one and only John McGinn, he is one of only two players to have cracked three digits in Aston Villa's appearances under Smith. Only injury is going to rule McGinn out, so McGinn's in that starting eleven. In that centre midfield position also, we're going to go with Douglas Luiz. Um, he's been heavily worked through, obviously, Brazil's international. I think it was the Olympics. However, I feel like it's crucial that he comes back into that team. And obviously, Jacob Ramsey, uh, the academy prospect. He's also going to be in their man of the match appearance against Newcastle United. In terms of forwards going uh, going forward, sorry, for Aston Villa, I'm going to go with a right wing, a left wing and a striker. In that right wing position, I'm going to go with Emi Buendia. He was very, uh, a much improved display against Newcastle. Sorry, it was very good in my opinion. I think there's still a few more gears of which he can go up in, but he's in this uh, team against Brentford. In that striker position, two games, two goals, and a peach and a penalty. Uh, that overhead kick, I'm still daydreaming about that right now. But Danny Ings is in that striker position, and Al Ghazi, the Netherlands international, he was absolutely incredible midweek against Barrow. Um, I think he scored twice, didn't he? He scored that penalty. Uh, and that low-driven shot into the corner of Barrow's net. Al Ghazi's got to be in there for me. He was top class. Guys, if you think I may have missed any players, maybe a Leon Bailey, um, he could come on as a substitution. But if you think I've missed anybody, obviously leave me a comment in the comment section down below, uh, and we can have a debate and a discussion in that comment section. I've been Scott, this is Total Football, and you already know Aston Villa fans. I'll see you next time.